Okay, so let's dive into the software and let's have a look at Clever Logger. So here we go. Um, you go to cloud.cleverlogger.com, that's where everything is. And on the login screen, you basically just need to enter your email address. Now there is a demo account, and so demo at cleverlogger.com will get you into the account that I'm about to show you. So after watching this video, feel free to jump on board cloud.cleverlogger.com and, um, and demo at cleverlogger.com and you can play with the system yourself. So here we go. Uh, in this particular case, it's a demo account, it will let you straight in. But if it was your normal account, what would happen is that we would then email you a link and you would click on the link and then that would let you into the system. So, um, so we're now in, and this is the site that you see straight away. What we've got down the side is our menu so that you can see everything that's there. And by default, we start on the overview and it will show me a list of all the locations I've got and a list of alarms. In my demo account, I've only got the one location. So that's what I'm seeing here, Acme Upstairs Bridge. Uh, a little bit of trivia, we've tried to make this a little bit more interesting. So if I want to, I can change it to a, a gauge and I can see the gauge view. Uh, in this particular case, the temperature is too cold and so my gauge is all red telling me that I've got a problem. Um, if I've got a large number of points, then I stick to my simple view and I can see all my locations and the current temperature. Uh, so if you wanna know immediately what the temperatures are, just log in, have a look at the control panel and you can see all your fridges or your freezers, whatever the case may be, and you can see the current temperature. If I click on it, now I'm diving in and I'm actually having a look at all the data I've got for this particular location. By default, I'm gonna see the last seven days worth of data in this graph. Um, but I can change that and look at any period I like. So we will keep the data effectively forever. Uh, and so you can go back last week, last month, last year, and have a look at what the temperatures were within your fridge or whatever. Uh, a couple really cool little things to have a look at. If I want to, I can zoom in on a particular range of data, and then I can see exactly what's going on. Um, and that's really, really helpful when you want to start looking at, say, this period here where I've had a spike and I wanna know what's going on. So I can zoom in, I can see exactly the date and time. And so having access to this historical data to this degree allows me to be able to pinpoint exactly when a problem starts, pinpoint when it finishes, uh, have a look at how hot or cold it got and decide based on evidence whether or not I need to be discarding the items, be it the vaccines or the food, or whether or not they're still safe to use. Um, it also helps me to identify what the possible cause was. Um, so quite often what we find is that we can see something that happened, say, at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we go back on that day and say, what happened? And sure enough, there was a delivery that happened at that time, and we're looking at this bridge being restocked or there could have been a storm that came through and looking at a power failure or whatever. Um, so it helps to start the conversation to say, what happened at this time to cause this problem? Uh, and it's a really good way of then finding the cause, trying to do something to stop it happening again. Okay, so uh, we're gonna zoom back out again. Uh, so that's the graph and most of our customers, the graph is, is pretty much all they need because that gives them that that visual representation, they can dive straight in, it's all there for them, fantastic. But sometimes you really just need to see all the numbers. And so what we've got is a table view. And so here we are, um, we've just got page after page after page of data, huge, huge amount of data. Uh, and so what I can do is I can say, well, show me 250 points per table, and now I'm gonna see a lot more data. But if I want to, I can just as easily uh, press export a CSV, and what that allows me to do is then open it up in Excel um, or whatever spreadsheet program you're using, and then you can do whatever you like from there. So a lot of data, export it to Excel, play with it. Uh, but we've got a couple really, really cool features. One of them is you can click on daily min max. So rather than looking at thousands upon thousands of data points, this will show you for every single day, here's the minimum temperature, here's the maximum temperature. 
And so, fantastic, now we've gone from hundreds and hundreds of pages of data down to a lot less data. Um, but one of the ones that uh, pharmacies and GPs really, really like is the half daily min max. And this one is basically because of really poor implementation of Stripe for five, where they say, oh no, we need to record the minimum and maximum twice a day. Well, there's the data. Um, Stripe for five needs it for a different reason, but auditors being auditors want to see this. And so there it is. Uh, and once again, I can export that as a CSV as well. So there you go. So we show you the data as a graph. We show you the data as a table. Uh, you can run it and see it as uh, daily min max or twice daily min max. It's all here at your fingertips. Uh, later on in this video, I'll show you the reporting engine. So what I'm doing now is showing you how quickly you can get access to this data. But I'm going to show you how we automatically send you this data later on. So we've now seen the data. Uh, a little bit of um, extra information on here. Like I said, you can change the period or you can use this here to change the period that you want to be looking at. Up the top, we show you the current temperature. My battery's fine. And we show you, because it's a wireless system, we don't uh, stay connected continually, but every five minutes we're updating the data. And so it's telling me that last seen five minutes ago, last log six minutes ago. Um, so it's just telling us that, yep, it's online, everything's good.